Greetings Earth Creatures and welcome to a new Right Roast. Today we're talking about this coffee. It's a Kenyan, it's our featured coffee of the week and it's by Man vs Machine. They're Munich based and I think they're fantastic. They've got really cool design. You can see the name right there in the teeth of the crocodile. And if you look at the back, they've got a great manifesto which says coffee is a fruit, don't let the fruitiness scare you. I mean, how perfect a motto is that? What little I know about them is they've been out for a couple of years and they're making right tasty coffee. Now, this Kenyan happens to be exceptional in the Kenyan class because it really typifies what I love about Kenyan coffees. Fruitiness, uh, complex sweetnesses that come from all kinds of angles. This one exhibits a sort of creamy body but not too much so. And the fruit flavors, well, I feel like I'm getting a new fruit each time I taste it. And when it gets cold, smooth and sweet, silky all the way. Now, what we're gonna do with this coffee today is we're gonna talk about grind settings. Now, how important is it to grind your coffee to the right size? Well, I would say extremely. And so to demonstrate, I'm going to use my favorite method, the filter method, and we're going to grind it three different ways. Fine, coarse, and medium, which is the just right method for the V60. Right, so I've got three 10 gram measures. And we'll grind number one, extra fine. I'm using a machine grinder. Of course, the same thing applies to a hand grinder. You simply adjust the grind settings in that dial in there. This will be the fine grind. Okay, that's the fine grind. There it is. A good medium coarse grind setting for the brats I find is 22. There's the medium coarse setting. Finally, coarse. There they are. Right, the coffees are ready. We'll start with the correct grind setting, which was the medium grind setting. The brew time for 10 grams was two minutes. So it's got that creamy body and they describe the flavor notes as red currant and passion fruit, I would say maybe strawberries. So strawberries and cream, definitely tasting that. Yeah, perfect. Now we'll go for the fine extraction. So this was with the very fine particles and the brew time I believe was three minutes. So it takes longer when you have fine grind and it travels slower through the coffee. Therefore extracting more. To me, I'm not picking up strawberries now. Now it's just sour fruit. So really hard to identify anything in particular. You could say maybe there's a raisiny feel in there. Um, the creamy body feels more gloopy. Just everything feels thick and sour. And that's definitely the symptoms of an over-extracted coffee. Just a bowl of stewed fruit. Not pleasant. And now the under extracted coffee, which was the large particles you saw, and I believe the brew time was about a minute and a half. Well, there is a creamy body sort of there, and the strawberry taste is, it's like a hint. It's just a waft. And really it's just thin all round and kind of empty. So sometimes you might get a bitter flavor, but in this instance, it just feels hollow. So back to the original. Yeah, there it is. Everything in balance, the flavor, the body, the texture, I'm getting everything just right. And so you can see that grinding your coffee to the right setting is as important probably as any other stage of making your coffee. And really, can't say enough good things about man versus machine and this Kenyan. Hope you get out there and manage to tackle this. And don't forget, enjoy your coffees because light roast is the right roast.